Divine Mercy Sunday is the Sunday after Easter Sunday. It is the day we reflect on the mercy of our Lord Jesus Christ. The celebration of today is rooted in John chapter 20 from verse 19 to 23. The Bible says, On the evening of that day, the first day of the week, the doors where the disciples of our Lord Jesus Christ were staying were shut. Jesus came in and stood among them. He said to them, Peace be with you. He showed them his sight and his sense. They looked at him, and they were full of joy. Then again he said to them, Peace be with you. As the Father sent me, so I am sending you. He breathed on them and said to them, Receive the Holy Spirit. If you forgive people's sins, they are forgiven. If you return people's sins, they are returned. The Hebrew word for peace is shalom. Jesus knew the important lack of his disciples at that moment and in future. The disciples needed peace. The world needs peace. The peace that Jesus gives is different from the worldly peace. The peace that Jesus gives is the greatest peace one can have in life. The Bible says, Peacemakers shall inherit the kingdom of heaven. Jesus commissioned his disciples. He said to them, As the Father sent me, so I am sending you. In Mark chapter 16, from verse 15 to 20, Jesus sent his disciples to preach the good news of truth, the good news of salvation. They were empowered. They performed miracles using the name of Jesus. We have been sent by the virtue of our baptism to do the work of God. In Acts chapter 3, from verse 1 to 10, the Bible tells us what happened when Peter and John were about entering the temple of God to pray. At the beautiful gate was a man who was unable to walk, a crippled. He was there begging for arms. Peter said to him, Silver I do not have, gold I do not have, but in the name of Jesus, stand up and walk. He helped the man. The man stood up, he started walking, he entered the temple with them. Jesus said to his disciples, As the Father sent me, so I am sending you. He breathed unto them and said to them, Receive the Holy Spirit. If you forgive people's sins, they are forgiven. If you return people's sins, they are returned. He instituted the sacrament of penance, the sacrament of forgiveness of sin, by the word of command he gave to them. We receive God's mercy at the confessional. The priest, after saying long prayers, at the end he will say, I absolve you in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Let us not doubt the mercy of God. Let us go to God asking for his mercy. Let us not forget to carry out the corporal works of mercy, to feed the hungry, to give water to the thirsty, to clothe the naked, to shelter the homeless, to visit the sick, to visit those in prison, to bury the dead. May the mercy of God and may the peace of God be upon us, both now and forever. Amen. Peace be with you.